Before we get into today's episode showcasing the brand new Zuchi Bug from 10,000 Fish and Catch Co, which you can order from shopcarls.com today, I want to let you know you can save $10 if it's your first order at Carl's Bait and Tackle of $25 or more using code WESTON10. That link is going to be at the top of the description. And if you sign up as a Carl's Club member, you're also going to get free shipping on most items and early access to new baits that drop similar to this and even some Guggen Squad products I've seen in the past. So you'll never miss out on your favorite color and be able to order ahead of time. Go ahead, get signed up and enjoy today's video where we showcase the bait in question as well as rigging tips, how to fish it and catch quite a few. Let's go. You got him! It's a big one, dude! You just got him! You just got him! Oh my gosh! Is this real life right now? What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are hitting the urban spots. It's a Friday afternoon and the place is jam and we've got packed patios out here. I'm fishing with Chuck and today's video is actually sponsored by Catch Co. We got some exciting new baits we're about to show you guys as we walk up to the bank. Something new to Texas rig for summer. It's a sick looking plastic. We'll get right into it here in just a second. Let's go ahead and get over here to where we're gonna make the first few casts. I'm gonna break this thing down for you, show you some rigging tips, and we are gonna fish this thing. It's crazy, man. It's like a lizard with wings. I've never seen anything like it. New from 10,000 Fish and the Catch Company. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Check this out. Not only do we have a new smaller size Yodo worm, this is brand spanking new. You guys know we throw this on the back of our bladed jigs, spinner baits, and as well as just even simply Texas rig. You can throw it with a scrounger head. You can throw it as a drop shot Ned rig. So many possibilities with this guy right here. We're also gonna throw this here in just a minute, but what I really want to showcase for y'all is the brand new Zuchi Bug by 10,000 Fish. This thing is crazy. Fish filled with wonder and curiosity can't help but coming in for a closer look. Crafted for techniques with larger profiles like a Texas rig, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today with you guys. I got one rigged up right here. I'm going straight braid today just because it's what I have lined up on the spool. A lot of times you might wanna tie a fluorocarbon leader to that, something like 15, 20 pound if you're fishing heavy cover, 10 pound if you're going kinda light with it. Uh, I would say 15 pound is great. Chuck's already on with one, man. He's throwing a swim bait and I think they're gonna be hitting this as well. So we're already catching fish, man, at the first spot of the evening. I'm gonna go ahead and rig this thing up. We'll talk more to you about it as we catch some fish, but an absolutely killer looking bait and color. I've got the Bama bug here for you guys today. I'm gonna to be throwing that on a four-aught Guggen Squad hammer hook and a quarter ounce tungsten weight. The, the tungsten weights are just a little bit more dense, they're a little bit more compact, they're the same size, and so I really enjoy throwing those tungsten weights. Let me go ahead and rig this thing up, get it in the water, because now I'm jealous, man. Chuck's already on out here. Let's go. You're catching them again. Chuck just caught another one on the swim bait, man. Yeah. <laughs> it seems they like the swim baits. <laughs> That's me. Oh, got a bite though. This is a uh, little bit of a larger profile bait, right? So what does that mean? Potentially, you gotta give those fish a second to eat it because it is a fairly large meal. So what I'm hoping for is a big fish to hit this thing. There we go. First one on the Zuchi bug, guys. The freaking flying lizard, man. Yeah. Oh, on the perp right there. Oh, yeah. No way. Check us out, baby. <laughs> First one on the Zuchi bug, man. Quarter ounce weight, just right in front of it. I think this is the fish that hit it just a moment ago. Check him out, and it's not even a huge bass. So what does that mean? You can throw this thing in your ponds, your lakes. You're going to catch the big ones, the small ones. It is a numbers bait, man, and the fish are fired up. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get homie back in the water and try and grab some more. Oh, money. Man, as I re-rig this, I'm telling y'all, I don't know what it is about the purple baits this year, but they have been slaying. Purple's just been like the color, man. It's crazy. Oh, oh, did you see that? Dude, my line just started darting that way. And these things are on fire. What is happening? I bet you we hit a good window and they might slow down soon. You just got another one, Chuck. What is happening, dude? We're on fire. What is happening? We're so fire. That's what it is. This is insane, man. This was so last minute, by the way, guys. I'm like, Chuck, you want to come out? <laughs> it's like an hour and a half before sunset right now. It's like an hour before sunset when we actually got here and got rigged up. So we're just trying to make the most out of this light before sunset. See if we can't catch a hog for you guys out of this pond. I know there's some big ones here. Another one. Chuck is on fire. You haven't even moved. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
swoosh. <laughs> We're over here having a good old time just chatting it up and they keep smashing it, man. Sometimes you gotta weed those out to find the big ones. Got him. Another little one. This bait, yeah, get you, it's in the bag. It's in the bag if you wanna throw it. So Ketchco only sent me one package of these things because I don't even know if they're on sale yet. When these things go on sale, you're gonna have to grab a handful. We are probably gonna burn through this whole pack. Check it out, I even had to downsize this guy right here. I chopped off the head just because all those hook sets were tearing up the nose. And so I'm finessing it down a little bit. Holy cow, the fish love this bait. He's got it. He's got it. Nice. Little guy. I'll see you, buddy. No way. Dude, <laughs> we're making our first move down this pond and Chuck's already on with the jerk bait. He said, I'm gonna throw a little something different. So he's switching it up. The fish are still biting, but we're trying to find the big ones, man. So we're gonna walk the side of the bank that we have not hit just yet. We're definitely gonna find one lurking, man. It's just how big is it gonna be? Is it gonna be two, three, four, five? I mean, it's a little pond. If we find something bigger than that, I will be, I will be ecstatic. But let's go ahead and make some casts along the bank here. See if we can find one of those true Texas giants. Oh my gosh, oh, yo, that's a good one. He's on with the jerk bacon, that's the biggest one of the night. Dude, that might go for three pounds right there. So. That's a big one. So. That's a big one. Oh. What just happened? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's freaking go, baby. Woo! I'm loving it, man. I was thinking, I was like, you know what? That tunnel might go all the way back. Let's throw a jerk bait in there. Came out of the tunnel, followed it, twitched it a couple times. We got him. Doesn't he look good in the sun? Dude, beautiful. beautiful. See you, Bubby. Oh my! Bro. What? What just happened, dude? He's got it. Oh, dang. Fish was running with it. How am I missing these? I'm kind of confused. That was like, that had to have been a decent fish right there. It just like ran out deep with it. Must have just had the tail. I knew this was gonna be a good spot too. Hey, there might be there might be another one in there that'll eat the jerk bait. Like, cause I had one right in there. Oh, yo! Yo! He was in the drain! He was in the drain! In there, in there. Oh my gosh, that's like a dream come true when that happens. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 you got him! It's a big one, dude! You just got him! Oh my gosh! That might go four, dude. I, you got a scale? I got a scale. Okay, please, please. I got a scale. Let's put him on here real quick. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> and then he came right off those jerk bait hooks as soon yeah, as you flipped them. I told them. you, the hooks are old. Wow. Man, as I'm touching them, That's a big one. Yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a little skinny, but yeah, that's okay. Skinny. What did I no, say? That's, okay. that's ounces, dude. That's almost four. Almost four. So three and three We're quarters, right? Three twelve is three and three quarter? Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. Let's, Let's go. go. Man, that's insane. Woo. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz bait. I wonder if I should buzz bait it. I'ma buzz bait it. Yo. All right, y'all, Chuck's got me thinking. As we've been getting a lot of bites on this new lizard and I am freaking pumped for y'all to throw this thing, I kind of want to hit some top water. So let's break out another catch co bait in collaboration with Guggen Squad on this one right here. I'm throwing Buzz Lightyear. It is sunset, man, and it is time to catch a big. There we go, y'all, we're about an hour in. It's time to break out the top water. Oh, got him, got him, got him. There we go, as I'm talking smack. And we got the sprinklers on us, the Sony, not the Sony, not the Sony. He's still on, he's still on. <laughs> hey, look, whenever they hit the top water, you gotta, you gotta wonder how big they are. That's what I'm talking about. First one on Buzz Lightyear of the night. We'll take it, top water in the mix, baby. Let's go. Here, you go past me, I'll cast over there. I got options. I got enemies. Uh, do your thing. No, you got it. Oh, two back to back. Two back to back. They're slurping it. They're not like a, they're not attacking it above the water and exploding. That's two casts in a row, guys. And the sprinklers are still here. <laughs> See, bud? $2,000. Let's keep that dry. Retail, though. Retail. You know, I was Craigslist on this, but I'm just saying. You, you know we rock the $50 mic and the cheap G Master look-alike, okay? <laughs> we could go try the other pond, too. Yep, right off the wall, huh? Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a tiny little dude. Say we go this way and head down by those trees. Here and there, yeah. 
Uh, we've had good and bad experiences, I guess. Now, you might get snagged here. You might. Maybe. I haven't fished this in a long time. Y'all just rocked up to what is probably the last spot of the evening, fishing right in front of the packed patios. And wouldn't you know it, Chuck pulled another fatty out of the drain on the jerk bait. Check this fish out, man. Pigs.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo! He got it. He got it. <laughs> nah, little dude. <laughs> He's good. We just got hit again. He's oh, you saw that? Got him. Little dude. Nice, y'all. Buzz bait getting him. All right, y'all. What a productive night fishing with Chuck till sunset. He reeled in on the big ones on the what was the jerk bait? Jerk bait, man. Spinning jerk bait. The rip stop. Absolutely crushing it, and thank you to Catch Co for sponsoring today's video. You guys have got to grab some of the new baits. Check them out on Carl's Bait and Tackle. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, y'all, peace.